Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. Today's video is happening because of one of you. Yep. One of our viewers in the Netherlands sent us a box of Christmas treats, candy. Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas. Treats. And we're going to talk a little bit about that. <laughs> and we opened it up, we saw it on, and we thought, you know what? This has to be a video. Mm -hmm. And so today we are going to be trying all sorts of candy, snacks, and treats from the Netherlands. So she sent us this box, but she also did something really cool. She actually built an entire website to explain what Sinterklaas was and then what all of these items are. This is so awesome. Sometimes <laughs> when people send us like candy and treats, they're like, you should eat this one first, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, she's like, so I just built a whole website. <laughs> and I love because on the website, she actually says like, what is Sinterklaas? Mm -hmm. uh, so when I read Sinterklaas, I thought, wait, Santa Claus? <laughs> like, and kind of actually. So I'm just gonna read you just a little bit so you know, it says Sinterklaas is a holiday. And I hope, just so you guys know, Disclaimer, as with all of our videos, including foreign foods or language stuff. We might be saying it wrong. I'm sorry. If I mispronounce anything, <laughs> uh, I'm super sorry. No offense is is intended. I just struggle with even English. <laughs> uh, Sinterklaas is a holiday celebrated on the 5th of December in the Netherlands. It's celebrated in more European countries, but it's a big thing here in the lowlands. There are similarities between uh, Santa Claus and Sinterklaas. Uh, for example, Sinterklaas arrives in the Netherlands by ship with all of the gifts. Each year it's a different city and it's considered an honor for that city and good publicity. That is super <laughs> fun. So fun. <laughs> and Sinterklaas might be celebrated on the 5th of December, but it actually says that it starts like mid-November. So it's celebrated on one day, but it really is kind of like Christmas celebrated for a whole season. Yeah. There's actually all kinds of history regarding Sinterklaas and we're actually going to put a link below to a Wikipedia page kind of telling you all about it. It's been really interesting to read through because I had never heard of this. I had not either. I heard of Saint Nick, right? Right. I've heard of Santa Claus. I've even heard of Papa Shisho <laughs> from the Santa Claus <laughs> movie. Every Christmas I have to say oh, that. I know you do. Um, <laughs> but this was really fascinating to learn mm -hmm. kind of of another Santa Claus kind of figure. Yeah. Very, very fascinating. But now, Sherry, we've touched into the history of Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. Now, let's get to the deliciousness stuff. Yeah. We have 10 different types of foods and snacks and here. And she actually numbered them all. What? So nice. Uh, now, full confession, there were a couple things that actually opened in transit, but it yeah. was interesting because it looked like uh, maybe people in the post office had opened them. Like, it wasn't like the bag had torn a little bit. Right. It, it looked like they actually opened the, a couple of the bags, which is a little bit weird. But all the things they opened <laughs> are like individually wrapped stuff. Yeah. So we are totally fine. And now we're just going to dive into all of these cookies, all of these candies. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. The first thing we have are some chocolate coins would be the English word. And I love you guys. She put in so much effort. <laughs> she said how to pronounce, where does it come from? What is it? We're probably still going to mispronounce it. I'm sorry. My favorite thing is when under the, what is it? She said chocolate, nothing special, just milk chocolate. <laughs> I'm like, that's totally special. And I, I love milk chocolate. I was just about to say, I was like, what do you mean? Nothing special. And look, they're cute little coins. They're like little euros. How fun is that? You want to split one of these with me? Yeah. There you go. Let's try the milk chocolate. It's delicious. It's good milk chocolate. It's just milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. But it's so good. It is good. Mm. Nothing special, just milk chocolate. It's delicious. The next thing, Sherry Beth, what do we have over here? This is like a big container. Yeah. It looks like cookies. It does look like cookies. And it looks like these are pronounced like speculus, speculos, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Uh, it says, where does this come from? There are several theories where the word comes from. To me, I think it's from spices, usually figurines, female figures, Sinterklaas, or something uh, else. Probably predates the tradition of Sinterklaas. It goes back to pagan customs where female figurines were made out of dough as a symbol of fertility. Oh. What is it? Ooh. It's a cookie, and this is what I'm excited about. <laughs> because um, this speculos is a word that looked familiar to me from... Biscoff cookie butter. Uh -huh. And I'm, she says, it's a cookie. In the US, it's known as Biscoff cookies. Can we please open these up? Because yes. I am yes, very excited and my fingers are crossed <laughs> that that is what these are. They're just figurines. They have designs on them. I'm gonna break off a piece. Here we go. Yes. Oh, they're way better than Biscoff's. Mm -hmm. Ooh. They have more like spice flavor to them. Mm-hmm. More cinnamon, nutmeg, that kind of stuff. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. The next thing we have here, this one is yours. It's a chocolate A. And a chocolate S. 
Now, she says um, how to pronounce chocolade. Is that maybe right? Possibly? I don't know. Since late 19th century, the chocolate letters were made in factories. Before this, we already had a custom with letters formed in bread, which were used in school to teach children how to read. Yearly, 14 million of these letters are sold in the Netherlands. It is also a common gift to use as a shoe gift. You give the first initial of the receiver. If you're not finding the right letter, you can always buy the S for Sinterklaas. Or you could buy the P for Papa or the M for Mama for your parents. <laughs> Fully acceptable. Cute. This is my first ever like chocolate letter. What is it? Chocolate. When I grew up, you only had the flavors dark milk and white chocolate. Nowadays, they come in all kinds of flavors and decorations. I've sent you a regular milk chocolate A. <gasps> and a caramel sea salt. Caramel sea salt S. I'll give you a bite of this. Thank you. It's like his favorite. It is my favorite. Okay, so we're gonna open these. This is really cool. I love that you give the the letter mm -hmm. of the first name. This is big. And beautiful. Look at how big this is. Like, that's a lot of chocolate. That's a solid piece of chocolate. Well, literally a solid chocolate. Well, well okay. Oh, oh, I'm <laughs> Oh, Sherry. Oh, geez. Here we go. I think I'm just gonna bite. Mm. Who doesn't just love chocolate? Mm, you're gonna like this one. I am? Mm -hmm. Trade. That was a really big bite. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Whoa. That caramel sea salt though is really good. Super delicious. So far, Netherlands is killing it mm -hmm. with their Sinterklaas candy. <laughs> the next thing we have here, um, okay, these English translation would be like spice nuts, uh, paper noten, maybe, <laughs> possibly. Again, sorry. Uh, so we have a bag here. It says, uh, the blend of spices contains cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, ginger, cardamom, and white pepper. Oh. Ooh, also called speculous spices. Yum. It says, uh, during the parade, when Sinterklaas arrives, the pepper noten are distributed by Sinterklaas's helpers to the children. It's a small, hard cookie. Very addictive, she said. Thank mm. you for saying that. These look like they're covered in chocolate. There's milk chocolate and white chocolate. When you put a bowl on your desk at the office, it's gone before you know it. I love that. <laughs> Nowadays, we also have... have Peppy Moten, which has chocolate layers. That's it. Which one do I get? You ready? I love watching. Here we go. Oh, That's yeah. That's good. The pepper is interesting because it's not peppery, but it kind but of brings there. the sweet down. I'm even going in for another one, even though we still have all mm. this to go. Did you try the white chocolate? No, I should do that. Mm -hmm. Here's the problem with you guys sending us stuff like this <laughs> is that you like get us hooked on things from where you're from. And they don't have them here in Alaska. And we can't find this. Next Christmas, I'm be like, you know what I want? I want some pepper nuts. <laughs> and I can't find any. That's, yeah, that's the delicious. The pepper's really interesting. I wouldn't think to put that in cookies, but it, it works. It does it work. It kind of brings the sweetness down so it's not like this crazy sweet. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Love it. Next thing we have, Sherry Beth. Mm -hmm. What is this? It, she says in English, literally mini foams. Mini foams. It says it's related to meringues. Ooh. Which are from 1700s France. But these are much denser and softer. She says, what is it? Mainly sugar and gelatin. Like Peppermoden, which we just had, uh, distributed by Sinterklaas helpers during the parade on the day of arrival. They're colorful and made into different shapes. Let's open up these. Give it a try. So yeah, that's exactly what they look like. Mine's like a little VW bug. Mine's a little rocking horse. That's adorable. <laughs> you ready to try these? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Mm. Consistency of like a carnival peanut. Yeah. You know those? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like harder than a marshmallow. Yeah. This is good. Mm-hmm. My complaint with like the carnival peanut is that there's not a lot of flavor to them. Like no. they're kind of just this weird texture and weird flavor. This is like very clearly a citrus. It tastes like a dreamsicle. What? Oh, it smells like a dreamsicle. It's really good. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Netherlands. Killing it. Wow. So the next thing we have here, this is number six for us. Mm -hmm. Number six, these are, oh gosh, Borstplatt. Oh, I feel like I just butchered that one. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm just seeing the word mocha on it and I'm excited. <laughs> uh, it says, um, <laughs> originally these sugar tablets were sold by apothecaries. They were cough drops to protect the chest and the lungs. They were made in large plates or sheets and then cut up into smaller pieces. Sugar was expensive in the olden days and therefore only in the celebrations like weddings or Sinterklaas. What is it? Sugar, cream, and vanilla. Nowadays, it's also available in chocolate and mocha flavors. Just smell this. Oh my gosh. You know what it reminds me of? What? 
and this is not enough because this is pretty much all I drank in college, but it was, you know those little, uh, like the tins of like the white mocha powdery oh, something? Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's what it smells like. Oh my gosh. Which, one, which color do you want? I want the white one. You want the white one? There's that. I'm gonna go for this one. It smells so good. I think, this is, the, I think this is the mocha. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is a really interesting consistency. Is that vanilla? This one's mocha. Wait till you try that. The mocha one? Stop. What? Mm-hmm. Oh, this is dangerous. It's good that this is just in a little bag because I could see, sit and eat this entire thing. So delicious. Mm -hmm. Next thing we have is called oh, Givold Speculus. <laughs> it's stuffed speculus. Kind of looks like a brownie a little bit. Um, yeah, it's funny because in the how to pronounce, I'm realizing that I don't think I can physically do that. No, she says it starts with a Dutch G, a sound that's almost unique to the Dutch language. You also hear the sound in Hebrew. In the back of your throat, you make a sound like you're snoring. I'm almost wondering if it's like a, like in Laheim, like a, <laughs> like the, like that back there, maybe. It's like the. And we're not going to try to pronounce nope, this properly. For sure. It's two speculous cookies with almond paste between. The cookies in Gevold Speculus are usually softer than when it's just a cookie. It's crumbling a little bit, but Worth it. so we're just going to take a little piece of it. Yes. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, Look at that. I'm going to show you the middle here. Like, Can you guys see that almond in oh. the middle? For me? It's really good. Oh man. <laughs> As I'm literally eating crumbs off my lap. It's got brownie consistency, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, the almond paste in the middle. Yep like super there it's not like it doesn't get lost really good that's really good dang okay on to number eight next Man. cherry i know I crazy like right need to move to the netherlands <laughs> netherlands can we come visit you <laughs> would you be okay with that okay these are so cute first of all we have to just talk about the packaging for these it looks like a little pear and a little lemon like they're so cute this is marzipan. It's a mixture of almond flour and sugar. In Europe, marzipan needs to be made with at least 14% almond flour. Mm. Very interesting. Marzipan comes from the Middle East. It's also used on the wedding cakes to create flowers and other decorations. Pigs and fruit are common shapes of marzipan at Sinterklaas. In October slash November, you would slaughter your pig and preserve your fruits to eat all winter long. Oh, yeah. Very cool. So the ones we have, obviously, fruit. I'm wondering what the consistency of this is going to be. Oh. Is it spongy? Um, Kind of. Which one should we try first? I'm going to try the lemon. Do you want to try the pear? I'll try the pear. Look at how cute these are. These are crazy. Look at that. Do you think these have different flavor or they're just different shapes? Oh, this was very clearly lemon. Really? Here we go. Let's try it. It's like fondant almost. That's exactly what I was going to say, fondant. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense because she said that you'd use it on wedding cakes. Are they different flavors? Because you said this one was clearly smelled like lemon. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure it does. Does it? I don't know. I think it's just like delicious almond flour and sugar. I mean, that one I feel like has a citrusy taste and smell. Maybe. It's real faint. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't smell. Yeah. Or taste, really. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like almond flour and sugar. Mm -hmm. Right? Just like a sweet. They're good. Fondant-ish mm -hmm. kind of treat. Like it's just eating icing. <laughs> Basically like eating icing. Exactly. I'm not complaining. We're almost finished. We only have a couple left. Two mm -hmm. left. Um, this next one is number nine and uh, kickers and moosin. That's for sure not how it's pronounced. <laughs> um, oh, it says like the English word kickers. Oh, good job. Hey, yes. Maybe I'm close. Uh, this is a typical candy to get left in your shoe at the fireplace. Um, oh, this is one thing that she actually sent us was a postcard with shoe gifts. Oh, yeah. Now, can we talk about this for a second? Yeah. I had never heard of shoe gifts. I have. But what you leave gifts in your shoe? Is it like, it's like stockings? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So, shoe <laughs> gifts. So, it says that a uh, typical candy to get left in your shoe at the fireplace. Uh, it's a thing to joke around this holiday finding a frog or a mouse in your shoe. Even a fake one was supposed to give you a bit of a scare. <laughs> um, she said, I have no idea why the frogs wear bathing suits and the mice only a bow and their tail. I couldn't <laughs> find an explanation. It's a fair question. It's also like, why does Mickey Mouse wear pants? Right. Uh, what is it? Sugar. It's fondant, which is a solid sugar, also used in wedding cakes to sculpt figurines with a very thin layer of chocolate and wrapped in foil with a frog or a mouse printed on it. All right, let's just pour some of these out and see. Oh my gosh, they are. The frogs have bathing suits. Mice have a little, have a little bow on their tail. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. All right. 
Yeah, the one of each. I'll I'll take the baiting seal. I'll take the modest frogs. <laughs> the modest frogs. Here we go. That's delicious. It's chocolate covered frosting. Is what it is. <laughs> Why is this not a thing here? It is chocolate covered frosting. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> really good. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Kickers and moosin. <laughs> that is a win for sure. We are on to the last thing. And it's the thing that I'm actually the most intrigued about. Mm -hmm. Because it looks just like a loaf of bread. Yeah. I, right? Like the photo, it looks like a loaf of bread. It says, um, banquet. There's an, is that how you say it? Banquet. Bonket. Bonket. That's probably much banquet. closer than me. Um, it doesn't have to be a rod. It can also be kind of like a bread rod. It can also be formed into letters, usually the letter S only. That's oh, me. like we were talking about earlier. Remember they said that before they were chocolate letters, the letters were formed oh, yeah. by bread and they teach kids how to spell. Right. Awesome. It's a flaky pastry filled with an almond paste. It can be eaten cold, but warm is better. Oh. Warm it for five minutes in a preheated oven. Never warm it in the microwave. Never in the microwave. <laughs> um, this treat can also be found uh, at Holland festivals in Holland, Michigan, oh. and the Tulip Festival in Pella, Iowa, at least according to Wikipedia. Uh, full confession, we did not read that part about warming it before this, so we're, we're just going to try it cold. Okay, it looks like... No bread loaf. It looks like a little bread loaf. <laughs> it looks like a long pretzel. I want like a thing of nacho cheese. <laughs> no. It's oh my nacho. gosh, smell that. Oh, it smells like it bread. It smells like bread. What? Okay, I'm just going to break off. Okay, I'm just going to bite off. <laughs> it's going to get really crumbly really fast. Yep. Whoa. It kind of tastes like a croissant. It's like the croissant. You can see kind of the flaky. Filled with like an almond paste. Mm -hmm. That is really good. I mm -hmm. got it everywhere though. Everywhere. Like there are like flaky pastry bits yeah. everywhere. So that was everything as far as treat wise that was in the box. Now, she did say on the website that she also included some Stroop waffles. We've had Stroop waffles before. Mm -hmm. Love them. Um, I think perhaps <laughs> we just had a, a, a box time. fall off the table. <laughs> um, they're not in there. And so I'm wondering if there was like a shipping error because the box did look like it might have been opened by tampered maybe with tampered with a little bit for sure. Uh, so no Stroop waffles. We have had them. They're delicious. Mm -hmm. They're like little like round waffles. I think they have like a thin layer of like caramel in them mm -hmm. and you put them over your cup of coffee. Like set them on top of your coffee and it like warms it up and then you eat it. It's Spectacular. So good. so good. So thank you for sending those. Sorry we did not get them, but we yeah. do know that they're delicious. Yes. They did also include two buttons from Disneyland Paris. They said they are um, AP holders at Disneyland Paris. So they sent a Spider-Man and a Christmas. So cool. Look how pretty. So we want to thank them for sending us this stuff. Uh, this was so like unnecessary. You did not yes. have to do this. And everything was good. There was nothing in everything. here. This is one of my favorite things. We talked about this in like past taste test videos. Mm -hmm. This is stuff we never in our life would have ever gotten. No, and there's some things that like, I don't know, some boxes you get that most of the things are decent, and then some are just like, wow, I will never eat that again. Nothing in here. There is nothing in here that was not delicious. Yeah, every single thing mm -hmm. was great. It was also fun that she included the whole history of Sinterklaas. Yes. That was kind of cool. I'd never heard I of that, that before. I love that she like, built a whole website for everything. So, if you're watching, thank you so much for, for sending the box, for <laughs> building the website. Uh, very, very kind for exposing us to your delicious treats. Yes. Um, and again, like we said earlier, the only downside to boxes like this is the next Christmas when we are craving chocolate covered fondant. And Our shipping cost is gonna be out of this world. <laughs> we need to find, we ship everything we need to find like an online candy store in the Netherlands <laughs> that we can order from. But friends, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below, of all of these things that we tried, number one, have you had any of this stuff before? Yeah. Maybe some of you guys like saw something, you're like, I remember having that growing up. If you did, let us know, we'd love to hear that. But also, of this stuff, what sounded the best to you? Mm -hmm. What's the one thing that you would like to try? Friends, we love you guys. Thanks for being a part of our community and we'll see you on the next Leg Life video. Mm -hmm.